And uh, welcome to another one of our uh, Building Better Businesses sessions. And it gives us great pleasure to be able to bring these sessions to the business community, especially in these trying times. And no, no matter where you're placed in business, whether you know, you're coming out of a lockdown or whether you've been trading along uh, without much interruption, um, they are still trying times. So um, connecting and reaching out to people is really important. Uh, now, some of you on the line may have actually listened to uh, previous sessions we've run, uh, whether it be you know, some of them or all of them, uh, but that's great. Uh, Cause if you have listened, then hopefully you'll learn something new this time around, or more importantly, what I like to do is listen again, just to reinforce certain things that maybe I missed the first time round. But uh, if you're a first time listener, that's fine. You don't have to have listened to uh, what we've been speaking about before to, to get a lot of value out of what we're gonna be going over in the next or today, but also in the next two to three weeks. If you would like to have a look at what we have been talking about in the past, please visit our website and the details are up there. Um, there's many varied topics from, from, the, from COVID through to you know, getting your business ready, uh, growing your business, they're all on there. So please go to our website and have a bit of a look. Now, we're gonna do things a little differently in this upcoming series. And just like in business, we have to be changing and adapting and, and in business, you know, I've got a saying and we use it a lot, you know, change is the only constant. So in these sessions, we're gonna be doing, keeping the sessions shorter and tighter, uh, anywhere from 20 to, to 30 minutes. And we're gonna drill a lot deeper into the topics or the concepts that we're talking about in the future. We're gonna do that by talking to business owners and who are experts in, in certain aspects of their business uh, and experts in their field and talking to them about what things they've been doing and it's what's been working well for them, but also things that haven't been working well. That's just as important to learn from that as well. So, um, okay, let's get into the, today's sessions. For those of you who I haven't met either uh, in person or um, on Zoom these days, uh, my name is Michael Osborne. I'm one of the directors of Sage Business Group. And I'm delighted to be joined today by Matt Gleason, who is the Community Partnership and Engagement Officer at Sunbury Community Health. Um, Morning, Matt. Um, great Morning. to have you join us today. And um, whilst people are looking at your um, massive list of credentials there, very impressive, um, how can you just very quickly tell us how uh, COVID has, what impact it's had on Sunbury Community Health and the service you provided? Have you, have you seen an influx? Well, like uh, most businesses, we've had to take a number of measures to protect our own staff and, and um, protect the uh, community from COVID-19 transmission. So it's meant a significant change to the way that we operate. Um, and the team here have done some amazing work to make that happen, particularly our, our IT team. Um, so our counselling services um, over the, the COVID period have all been delivered by um, uh, telehealth. So historically people have had to come into the centre uh, if they've wanted to access counselling or other health services with us. The majority of our face, uh, our, our community facing services have been offered uh, online, um, you know, yeah. using things like Zoom. Uh, yeah. And that's been both a plus and a minus for the community. It's meant the community can still access um, services. Um, and some people have actually preferred the telehealth model. It means that they can streamline their day. Um, what we also know is that um, the data we're getting from community is that the community is under a lot of stress. You know, there's a lot of additional stressors around work, around money, um, around, uh, you know, having your kids at home um, uh, more often and, and for longer periods of time. So a whole range of different stressors there that our community is yeah. facing. Yeah, and, um, absolutely. I, yeah, I don't think business um, or uh, the service we provide will be ever done the same way again. I, I can't see going back to what was normal. So um, the reason uh, we've got Matt along, as we'll explain in a moment, but um, uh, let's, first of all, we promise to keep it short and sharp. So we'll, we'll look at the agenda. Um, yep, yeah, we're gonna look at where your focus should be right now. Uh, and also have a look at what strong foundations are, and especially for the business owner, um, strong foundations for your business and for yourself. We'll have a look at some quick tips 
uh, some next steps, and then possibly give you a bit of a sneak peek at the seven ways to grow your business. And that's the upcoming series of uh, webinars that we'll do possibly from, from next week. So that's the agenda. Um, now, as the state of Victoria is starting to open up for small business, we're being asked the question, where should my focus be? Or our focus be as business owners? Now, obviously, our answer will be predicated on what impact has COVID had on your business? You know, for some lucky businesses, business has actually thrived and their cash flow position actually got better. Now, unusual as that may sound, that is the case. Unfortunately for others, some have had to uh, just, just twist their, their business model a little bit, just change it up a little bit just to be able to survive. And, and some of them actually, having done that, have um, had some great results. And unfortunately, some have had to just close completely and just wait it out. Uh, so no, no matter what position you're coming back from, but especially those ones that have had to close, I'd imagine that there's a fair chance that you would have, you'd be thinking about maybe needing or wanting to grow your business. Because some of you are, are starting from, from scratch again, and that's, that's gonna be a daunting, daunting prospect. Now, growing your business will mean different things to different people. For some, it'll be growing sales, growing turnover. For others, it'll be growing your team or contract just to be able to cope with that influx we were talking about before. Um, so in actual fact, we, we have heard quite a bit that growing a business whilst is important may not be on everyone's horizon right now because there's a bit of a backlog since we've opened up a little bit. There's been a bit of an influx and people are getting busy. But my question to those businesses who have, have got busy straight after COVID is how sustainable is that busyness? Is it, uh, is it likely just to lead up to Christmas, maybe a little bit after Christmas? What happens when JobKeeper, JobSeeker close? So have a look at that because at some stage you will need to grow your business. Now, if growth is on your agenda, we're of the opinion that before you embark on that path, you should ensure both your business and you as the business owner have strong foundations upon which to grow. Now, just like building a house, if you try to build or grow your business on weak foundations, um, yep, the house will crumble, your business will crumble. If your foundations for your business were put there just to build a single story and you try to put a second story, it's not going to end well. Same with uh, your business. If your foundations are not strong, if you, a business owner, aren't ready to drive that growth, both scenarios will end in tears. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on what having strong business foundations means for your business because we really looked at that extensively in, in our, in our six-week program that we did in conjunction with Hume Council. And I mentioned before, you can actually go to our website and have a look at that. But as a quick summary, um, please just have a look at this slide here. It shows that you know, the strongest of business foundations are built upon having four things. The first, cash flows and budgets. Now, encompassing what if scenarios as well. You know, um, what happens if things drop down? We, we have seen that the strongest business or businesses survived have had a cash reserve or a war chest. And that applies not just to business applies to your personal budgets and personal um, finances as well. Those who have had two to three months worth of cash in reserve have been able to weather the storm. So cash flows and budgets are a must. Clarity plan. Now, what do you as the business owner want from your business? Get it out of your head and down on paper. Your business is there to serve you, not the other way around. So get it out of your head on paper and be really clear on what you want. The next thing is a strategic plan. Now, that plan is like a one or two page plan that will set out your goals for the next 90 days, one year, three year, maybe five years, it's a bit far down the track, but it sets out what you need to do to achieve your clarity, your clarity plan. And not just the numbers, but the actions. What actions do you need to take to get that plan? And then finally, you know, your, your 10 hats or your, your organization structure. 
What are the roles and responsibilities of everyone in your team? Are they clear? If you want to get your team to do what you want, when you want it, at a service level that you are happy with consistently, everyone needs to know what they have to do and when they have to do it. I wish I had a dollar for every time I've seen, I've spoken to a business owner and they said, look, I tried to put someone on, I, I got in some subbies, but you know what? They just didn't do it the way I wanted to do it. So you know what? What the hell? I'll just do it myself. And quite possibly, maybe your business foundations weren't that strong to be able to, to do that. Because it's all about employing and getting people to help you sustainably. So they're the foundations, if you like, of, of a strong business model. And when you've got that, then you can actually go for and grow your business using um, know, yeah, knowing your numbers, um, having uh, systems in place, and having accountability as well around that. So it's, it's so much easier. And our, our upcoming sessions are going to be around knowing your numbers. And I'm not talking sales or profit or anything like that. I'm talking about the seven key drivers in your business that you need to generate the revenue, the profit to keep you and your family happy. That's what we've got coming up. But now in terms of looking after yourself, and that's why we've got Matt, Matt here. So Matt, can I ask you, would it be fair to say that no matter where businesses are coming from, whether they've been locked up for a while and, and just surviving or whether they're, you know, they've they've been able to you know, produce a good result through COVID, it would be fair to say that the business owner would have been impacted in some shape or form, whether it be, you know, paying wages, providing for their family, where's my next dollar come? Would that be fair to say that most business owners have had some form of impact? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Sure. Yep. Um, sorry, there's a little bit of feedback there. Um, I mean, business. everybody in our community has been impacted by COVID in one shape, form or another. So yep. uh, when we face a lot of change, when we face a lot of kind of unknowns or when we feel like stuff is outside of our control, that can add to the stress levels that people feel. Uh, and definitely with something like a, a, a pandemic, um, there are so many things that are out of our control, um, yep. and so many unknowns, and that's inevitably had an impact on people's emotional wellbeing. Absolutely. So, Matt, can I ask you a, a question, please? Why is looking after our emotional wellbeing so important to, to business and business owners? Well, it's all about, as you said, having a, a, a good foundation and that starting point for the foundation happens even before you consider a business and that's about where you're at. Um, one in five Australians will experience, in previous years, will have experienced some kind of diagnosable mental health problem. Uh, most frequently that would be a, a form of depression or anxiety. Uh, in some cases it would be um, rare illnesses um, such as a psychotic illness like schizophrenia. Um, what we know is that um, our mental health is responsible uh, is responsive to um, outside stressors. So, um, if we're not taking care of that kind of business, then um, that can have a flow-on effect for our lives. And one of the key features of um, um, a mental illness is about its persistence and about its um, impact on our daily functioning. So, if we're struggling to, um, you know, with our daily functioning, it becomes much more difficult to obviously run a business. Absolutely. So, you know, and if we are struggling, you know, how, can, how can we look after our, our mental health a little bit more? Do you have any sort of tips or, or things we should be considering on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, there's lots of preventative stuff that we can do. And it starts with the real basics around having a routine, um, looking after things like your sleep, getting enough sleep, um, your diet, um, and connection to people. So where people are feeling isolated, um, they become less resilient uh, and, and less able to, to cope. Whereas people who have good connection with others, that's one of the strong kind of protective factors um, that, it, that we know about. Um, so it's really about looking after the basics. If, if you think about um, your physical health or your waistline or whatever it might be, it's still the same principles um, initially with mental health. It's also about being able to recognise if things are starting to go awry and not feeling um, stigmatised or ashamed about reaching out for assistance. Um, we've all needed assistance at different times with our physical health um, and just like physical health with our mental health, sometimes we may need some help. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so 
if we've recognised that and, and we think, you know what, I do need some form of assistance, um, where, can, where can people get that, uh, especially around Sunbury anyway, but, um, and in general, I suppose? Yeah. So there's a couple of different options that come to mind immediately. And the first one is around um, the mental health care plans, which are funded federally. Um, and that's around uh, getting a, a Medicare rebate, essentially, on going to see a private counsellor or psychologist. Um, and the starting point for that is to go see your GP. Now, when you go and see a GP, GPs are generally, you know, the, the, the um, strongest part of their training is around diagnosis of, of physical illness. Um, and uh, we know that uh, when somebody is experiencing um, uh, difficulties with their emotional well-being, that can present physically too. So it's important when you talk to your GP, not just to talk about the physical symptoms, but you know, where you're at emotionally. Um, and that will help give them an indication about um, what, what your needs might be. They might still run some physical tests just to rule out that it's not something physical. Um, but then, you know, if, if you make it overt um, that emotionally you're not doing so great, they can also um, enact that mental health care plan. The other option is Sunbury Community Health also runs a range of uh, generalist and specialised counselling services. So we run um, drug and alcohol counselling, we've got generalist counselling, uh, we've got uh, counselling for people who've experienced family violence or who might be concerned about the use of violence. Uh, we have financial counsellors, um, so a whole range of kind of um, counselling services there. Um, some of them are free, um, some of them are based on your income, but um, it's still uh, a reasonable price for, um, you know, looking after your, your wellbeing. Um, to access Sunbury Community Health um, Services, initially you come in through a telephone triage, so you simply ring the Community Health Centre, and the number for that is 97444455. Um, the person on the end of the phone will ask some initial questions about who you are and what your needs are, and then they would um, set you up for an appointment time with the relevant counsellor. Fantastic. Uh, so it's, um, yes, well, you're well set up there to, uh, to assist anyone, really. It doesn't have to be a business owner. Um, anyone um, through these very trying times. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Matt, for covering those topics. It's, um, as I said, something that we, we concentrate sometimes on the dollars, um, whereas actually, you know, we should be looking at things behind it and, and us being able to drive ourselves. Um, you know, the dollars and, and security will come if we can get everything else in place. So where to from here? Um, look, as I mentioned, uh, our next webinar is all about knowing the numbers. Uh, but as I said, not sales, not gross profits, specifically the seven key numbers that you should be measuring and tweaking to ensure that you can get your business to a sustainable level. So we can offer employment to a lot more people. It all leads to um, if, if the, the local community is doing well and employing lots of people, it all helps um, not only financially, but also uh, our mental health as well. So look out for that. We're hoping to have that ready for, for next week, but we'll let, let you know a little bit about that. A next step, so if you'd like some assistance in you know, getting your business ready um, for you know, laying strong foundations, then please, yeah, talk to us. Um, I think our detail is gonna come up in, in a minute, but if you'd like some information, more information about what you know, Summary Community Health could do, there's the, uh, the information there for Summary Community Health as well. So um, I said, promise to call, but keep it short and sharp. That's it for today. Um, we really appreciate you um, giving up your time. It's, 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 it's a va it's valuable commodity time at the moment. So um, thank you for joining us. And once again, thank you, Matt, for um, coming on board and, and just giving some people some, some ideas around what they can do with their mental health. Um, and we're really looking forward to catching up with everyone in future sessions. Um, see you later. Bye for now. Thanks, Marcus. Bye, Bye everyone.